Now last week you saw I made the Paddington Bear suitcase here and I'm going to make a bear, a fairly big one. I mean he'll actually stand alone as a cake by himself, uh, that's the plan anyway. Now I've got three pound cakes, simple eight inch rounds here. I've made them many times on my channel. Don't buy packet cake unless you really have to because this is so easy to make. I'll leave a link, uh, get across. Uh, this was a three egg recipe, so very, very simple. Come on, let's get on and make Paddington Bear. <laughs> Now very quickly, I've done a little bit like on the suitcase. I'm using uh, one chocolate and two vanilla cakes. The first layer is going to be Paddington's bottom and legs. I want to cut a little round shape like this with some legs coming off. It'll almost look like a bear's head. So uh, I'm gonna do it by hand very simply and I'll show you what it looks like after I've cut it. So you see what I mean that when you cut that out, you end up with this what looks a little bit like a bear or a rabbit's ears. Um, I'm going to lay that down there now. That is the base of my Paddington bear. The next thing I want to do is I'm just going to take a knife and I'm going to cut a little slither off the top. I won't do it on camera because I want to get it nice and accurate, but I'm going to cut a slither off the top and just level this down a little bit. After we've done that, we're going to make uh, a couple of circular pieces of cake to bring the body of Paddington up to about this height and then I'll work on his head. So you'll see that I cut two round pieces like that. Now what I'm going to do uh, just to bind those together is take a little bit of my marmalade. I'm gonna pop that on there and just use this to bind the layers together. So I pop my first part of my body on there, a little extra marmalade between these two layers as well. Now you might have noticed the deliberate mistake. I probably should have gone chocolate and then vanilla, but in the grander scale, it'll be all good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut two more pieces of cake in a slightly pointed and pear-shaped to make the head. So what we've got is these um, slightly pear-shaped pieces of cake, and I'm gonna sit them slightly forward there. I've got the white and then the chocolate. Now once I've stuck those on with my marmalade, we're going to trim up and just shape them. He's got a fairly short body and a long nose, but once we put our fondant over the top of this, we can shape it a little bit more before we start putting his coat and hat and his ears on. There's gonna be a couple of little pieces up here for his ears as well. So I've shaped the bear now and uh, he's looking pretty good. Don't forget once we put the butter icing on here, we can tidy things up. Now, this next step is a little unusual, but because I'm gonna be moving this bear uh, after I've made him and putting him onto the case, I just want to lift him gently whilst I still can off of my circular tray. I'm just gonna put a piece of baking paper down. Over here, I've got some of the fondant that I used for the case. I've rolled it out and I'm just going to lift it gently and lay it down on top of my paper. Then I'm gonna lift the bear back and place him on top of the fondant. Now, as I say, the reason for this is because once I've frosted it, I still want to be able to pick this so I can put a cake palette knife under it and lift it and pop him back onto my suitcase. Now, the next thing, I'm just going to take that Nutella frosting. You saw that on the first half of this tutorial. Uh, I've just sealed it in a little Tupperware and we're going to start applying our frosting to the outside. Let me just show you there. We're gonna start putting it on with a little crank handled spatula here. And I want to cover him and get a nice even shape to him. Now look, I've got Nutella frosting pretty much all over Paddington now. I'm going to take him, pop him in the fridge for about an hour, hour and a half to firm up before I put my fondant on. Now there's a couple of colors of fondant we're going to want. A nice blue, and I've made this with white and I've just used royal blue. Red is a little more difficult. I've actually bought some ready-made red. It's a hard color to get. Whilst you're using your fondant, just take some covers and pop over them to keep them uh, from drying out. Let's get and roll this blue out now. We're gonna make the coat. It's not as difficult as it might seem. Now, when you're making the coat for Paddington, we really only need a square and we need to know the measurement from his belly all the way around the circumference. You measure around here to there and we're going to make a square that's big enough to come a little bit above the back of his head and we'll just curl up the collar. I'll show you what I mean as I roll it out. Now, again, a little bit of cornstarch and just square up your blue icing. 
take your rolling pin and start to roll out a bit of an oblong. Now, as I said before, a little tip, get some gloves on if you've got nails. I've got guitar nails here. I play guitar a lot. Ladies, if you've got nails, it'll just make it a little bit easier. Now, you can see I've got this strip of fondant, the blue. It's a sort of oblong shape and I've just rounded the corners. We're gently going to lift this up to our bear and just start to wrap it around the bear like so. Now I've wrapped the blue around him. I've started to shape it. It looks a bit like a cloak at the moment, but once we get the arms on there and this piece of red now I have, I want to roll this out to a circle, probably about four inches in diameter. And we're going to pop that over and make his hat. You see uh, Paddington's hat, it's really just a circle and the front edge is folded up like so. So I've got a circle. I've actually used a plate. This one's 18 centimeters and I'm just going to lay it over his ears like so. Hopefully you can see that there down the back here. We had a little hood on here but you can see that's going to be the back of his hat. It's going over his ears. Now I've just got to fashion it in such a way uh, this front brim has to be folded back. I'll get on and do this and I'll show you it when it's finished. Now we're starting to get there. Come and have a little look. The hat is on. We're going to have to get a little of the dust off of there. I'm going to put some arms on now. I'm just going to use some blue fondant. Just going to roll it out to a little sausage shape. Just fiddle with it and get it the shape you want. We're going to fix it on the side. Now I may use some water and some little picks to hold it in place. So I need to get on and put the arms on there. And then I'm going to put some little paws on the end and I'll show you how we finish around his face and his legs. Now I've used some toothpicks to hold Paddington's arms into place while we carry on working. Don't worry about him for the moment. I've got some Nutella frosting in a piping bag and I'm using a star tip. Now if you come in a little bit closer, for his fur we're just going to take that star tip and put little stars all over his face. It might take a little time, just be patient. And we'll do this before we put his eyes and nose on. And that's going to give us a little fur effect. I'll get on and do that and you come back in a moment and see what it looks like. Now you'd be amazed what piping the fur on will do. Come and have a little look now because that fur has just popped out the surface of Paddington Bear and it's all really now about those little touches, little finishing touches. I've done some little brown circles which I've made a paw out of here. I'm going to take a little bit of the extra base fondant and just make uh, paws to match. I've done one paw this side. I've added a little white triangle here as a sandwich. We take this second paw and I'm probably going to lay it just in laying across his lap like that. Some little brown circles to make his eyes, a little diamond shape to make his nose. I've also done here a little label which matches, if you just come up here, matches the label on Paddington Bear. Uh, everything is starting to come alive. You can do as much or as little as you want. Also, another thing, if you just come down here a moment, if you get a paintbrush, a little bit of water and paint it over the finished product, it just pops the blue out and makes it, uh, any dust that's left on there uh, starts to come together. Now I have almost finished, but I just want to show you, you see because that's on the paper, the wax paper, and we've got the base, I will trim away any of the excess fondant around his legs. But the beauty is now, and I know I haven't finished him yet, is I can get a, a cake slice under there, reasonably easy, and I'll just move the label out of the way, and I can lift Paddington Bear up and place him where I want. By the way, the little toothpicks, they'll come out and we'll just patch over those before they go onto the suitcase cake. So it's always kind of sad. We've come to the end of decorating Paddington Bear. Come and have a look just how great he is. I've gingerly popped him on top of the suitcase now. That last little bit, the hand there is done and he looks pretty much perfect. I'm really pleased with the way that has come out. So I hope you've had some fun. Paddington and I have had some fun. If you decide to make this, just be patient. It's a little more complicated some, than some of the recipes that I do on Steve's Kitchen, but I think you'll agree the end result is just fantastic. Please share the love, give this one the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.
So I've got my beautiful old Paddington bear. I've got the cake here as well. Now I'm gonna leave some links, but I'd love to hear your comments down below and please share this video out with your friends if you've enjoyed it. Do get and see that movie because I think it's a fun movie. I've seen the clips, I'm looking forward to seeing it. You take care of yourselves. Comments down below. See you next time. Be good.